welcome everyone in this video i will show how to create an kubernetes Netis service in azure first of all you have to go to your azure console and then from here on the search bar you have to type a case so you can find the kubernetes services you have to click on and hit click and create a kubernetes cluster now you have to choose your subscription and for this video i am going to create a research group and from cluster preset configuration i am choosing standard or you have to choose your dev test if you are going to deploy in dev test environment or there are some another options you have to explore so i am choosing the standard which is the standard cost and in this standard you can deploy and read, uh, set up your kubernetes cluster and application very quickly so now the kubernetes cluster name I am put a case video for this demo purpose and the region I am going to deploy it on EAS2 and I am choosing no zones right the, the cluster will deploy in the single zone and the Azure pricing tier I am choosing standard and there is another option free but I am choosing the standard version now Kubernetes cluster there is a 1.1.25.6 is default but I am choosing the latest version that is 1.2.26.3 and there is another version which is an under preview mode which is 27.1 right. so let's select 1.26.3 and automatic patch upgrade I, I for this demo I am uh, choosing disable and the node size node size basically node is a vm where your ports and other things will be deployed so for kubernetes there is two node you need to at least two node one is system node and one is user node where the user application is gonna be deployed so i am choosing the low cost vm which is 2 gb uh, 2 virtual cpu and 4 gb ram select and I am the choose this scale method manual or you can choose auto scale in auto scale you can choose minimum one to thousand nodes thousand ports on your ports right and in manual you can choose one to your default your desired choice I am choose two node count right and the scale modes I choose manual now let the node pool that I can or I can say it that you need at least two pool the agent pool are going to the use for Kubernetes internal systems DNS and proxies and Kubernetes internal services and you need to add another node pool for your application purposes which is user node pool you can put a name the user node pool and the mood is user and the OS type is only select option is Linux and again I am not going to choose any availability zone then I don't need any Azure spot instances again scan method manual and the minimum node count is 2 and all are gonna go I set it default click add oh, I have to also choose a net node size again I am choose uh, 2 virtual CPU and 4 GB RAM again and click add see this is your user node pool and the OS type is Linux here is the another information so click next uh, access I don't want to uh, describe here for this part let's click networking 
in networking where we are using the kubenet network configuration and our network policy is none right click next the integration part i don't want to describe in this video but just keep it default or if you want to don't, don't want to collect the logs and check the box then the your container inside log will not collect it right advanced let's keep it default tag get review and create so i got some error let's see what happened provisioning resource for container x service in resource group has failed okay here the problem is the reason i choose the east us currently limit 20 so current usage is 14 and additional record 4 so for this i am gonna to choose another region right so let's go to the first part the basics and here the region let's choose central us again i am not gonna to choose any region and click review and create sorry uh, basic none okay the maximum mm, size kind of unable for the subscription okay yep let's choose another machine size let's choose some DC series sorry then do some insufficient RAM this for demo purpose I am choosing the 1 GB RAM and 2 GB but 2 virtual CPU that's not gonna be selected okay uh, again B series we can choose this one let's review and create so here the other error I face that the validation failed for the following tab node pools require information missing or not better when they click the node pool then agent where we can uh, b2 plus let's use simple b2 click update and click review and create we are choosing this one click update click, click review and create i hope this time uh, all are okay yeah variation passed so now click create Kubernetes uh, cluster takes some time for creating. Let's wait until the deployment is finished, right? So I am pausing the video for a moment. I will back when the deployment process in is finished. So my deployment is finished. Let's get go to resources. So here is our our AKS dashboard. Here our AKS currently is running. Our location is Central US, and our current Kubernetes version is 1.2.2 uh, to 5.6. And this is our API server address, right? So our node pool is currently two node pool. One is agent yeah node pool, and another is user node pool. So now let's connect to your AKS in terminal with kubectl. For this, let's click connect. Here, there's give some instruction 
how to use connect in your terminal or you can use cloud shell uh, but i am using you can use here cloud shell or i am using uh, git bash now first set the cluster subscription it is, this is very important if you are using multiple subscription so to set the appropriate subscription while your case will create a running hit enter and click a case download the cluster credentials which will be stored in your local machine and it is done see the must a case video with your cluster name as current context in your cube dot cube folder and the config file is your aks credentials let's get this file and was what's under here sorry let's Uh, let's go your here the Q file and here the config click edit and you can see here is the your API everything is here your API cluster your certificate and other everything so back to your terminal and type Cubectl get services and you can see there is your one Kubernetes service so you have your cluster and there is your cluster IP and you can see your ports there is no ports currently running right and you can get your all deployment information here by using this command so click and paste it here and that here is your cube system deployment and name is specified there is your code dns code dns scalar is the core part of your Kubernetes system